So it's about time that you learned to love time. So what story are you telling yourself about time? Now, I want to help you to build a better relationship with time. Just like when you are trying to increase the wealth in your life, a good thing to do is to improve your relationship with money. Or if you want to improve your relationships, it's a good idea to improve the relationships that you have with people. It's the same with time. We actually have a relationship with time. So we want to make sure that our relationship is the best possible relationship that it could possibly be. And we do that by thinking positively and talking positively about time, like time is on our side. We want time to be working for us and not against us. We want our perception of time to work exactly in our favor. So the things that you think about time and things that you say to other people about time are really affecting the quality of your relationship with time. So here are some examples of negative things that you might be saying about time. And don't worry because this is quite normal. We are programmed to think this way. It is what we are brought up with thinking. Most people think like this and if you want to change your life and be different then this is what we're doing today is we are acknowledging what we say about time and what we think about time so that we can start to change it. So here are some common ways to think about time. I'm so busy. I don't have time. I just wish I had time to do that. I'm rushed off my feet. Life is always so stressful and so busy. It's just a busy phase of my life right now. There's just never enough time. I have too many things to do. I just keep running out of time. I'm always running late, or I'm just one of these people who's always late. I just can't be on time, no matter how I choose, how much I choose to say I want to be on time, I'm always running late. Whenever you've got young children, you're just always late. That's just a fact of life. When you've got a baby, that just means you're going to be late for everything. So <laughs> these are things that we tell ourselves about time. So if you want to use your time more wisely, you need to start to improve your relationship with time. So change your time story. Say new affirmations to yourself and other people. So replace those affirmations with these new affirmations. I feel so relaxed. I have enough time for everything I need. I always have enough time for things that are the most important to me. I move calmly from one task to another. My life is so full of things I love. I choose to spend my time exactly as I do. There's more than enough time for me. I prioritize things that matter and I do them. I'm always on time. This actually worked really well for me the very first time that I learned to do this. I used to be the kind of person who would always be busy. I would always be rushed, always not have enough time for everything that I wanted to do. I used to be the kind of person who was on time. And then after I had kids, I always seemed to be late for everything, especially when I was with my husband. As a family, we were always late for everything. And then I decided, no, I'm going to change my, my relationship with time. And I'm going to start telling myself that I am really relaxed. I have enough time for everything. I'm always in the right uh, place at the right time. There's always time for the things that I plan to do every day. And guess what? It happened. There ended up always being enough time for the things that I prioritized every day. I started to feel much more calm and relaxed. People couldn't believe that I achieved so much in, in a certain day because I was just always so calm and relaxed. It literally does change your personality. It makes a massive difference to the quality of your life when you start to affirm these things. It is so powerful.